Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to talk about the simple thing you can do to make your site more secure. Secure against hackers hacking into your WordPress website. So what I have here is a brand new site, myfavoriteplugins.com, and I just installed it, and I want to show you one of the first things you should do once you install a WordPress site. So let me go over to the admin dashboard. So I'm logged in here already and I'm going to go into the dashboard and I'm going to go over to users, all users. And I see that my username is admin. So what I want to do is I want to create a new user a new admin for myself and then I'm going to want to delete this one. That is because WordPress hackers know that almost everybody has an admin login name and so what they do is they try to hack into your site with the admin login name going through multiple times trying to log in to WordPress and what they do is they test different passwords. So not only do you need a new admin name, but you need a very strong password. So let's go ahead and do this. So I am logged in as admin. I can see up here is my admin name and I'm going to create a new one. So I will just call this admin Christina or any other name, just not the name admin and I'll put in my email address and my first and last name and you can leave your website blank if you want and now I'm going to type in a password and you want to make sure that it shows you it's a strong password so for strong passwords you want to have uh, different symbols you want to have upper and lower case, etc. So I'm going to type it again to make sure I have gotten it. Okay, and it shows me it's strong. So if you type in a password and it doesn't show you that it's a strong password, think of a new one. And then um, since I'm doing this for myself, I don't need to send this password to the new user. But if you were creating users for maybe your assistants, you might do that. And the role I want to select is administrator. So let me click on add new user. All right, so now I have two usernames. One was the original admin and one is the admin Christina. So what I need to do now is log out because I'm logged in. See, look up here. You can see who you're logged in as. I will need to log in, log out as this and log in as this user to make sure that I did it right. So I'm just going to come over here and say log out. All right, so now I am logged out. So now what I want to do is log in with my new username, which is admin Christina. And then I'll just click on Remember Me and I'm going to log in. So now coming over here, it shows me I'm logged in as Admin Christina and I'm going to go over to All Users. And since I am logged in as this, and the reason why you want to log out as the old, log in as the new, just to double check you got the password right. And now what we want to do is delete this user. So I'm going to click on delete. So get what I'm doing. The old one is easy to hack into. The new one is not so easy because it'd be harder for them to guess this username. So now that I'm logged in as a new one, I'm going to delete this admin. And then it asks me what should be done with a post owned by this user. So I'm deleting the original admin user and where should I attribute the posts. So you can either delete all posts, but I do not recommend that. Instead, you want to reassign them to the new admin 
and I'm going to click Confirm Deletion. All right, so I have done that. I have now deleted that original admin. I have my new administrator, admin Christina. I will now log in with that. I have a very strong password. So now my site, which I'm still building. So now what I've done is taken that first step against hackers getting into my site by having a new admin login. And this is one of the very first things you should do anytime you install a WordPress website. This is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop.